So what we have here is, as everybody might, a lot of people might recognise, the Jackery, and this is the Explorer 500 portable power station. Excellent made product, so um, well made, like the quality speaks for itself. First thing to notice is, it's got a little torch on the front, press it twice, there's a long hold, that's it. Does the SOS, press it, turn it off, on, hold, off. It's quite bright. It is quite heavy, I mean, say portable, but portable means tent um, on a campsite, camper van, that sort of thing. It's not something you can take up a hill. So the, the first few features to look at are the main input. I'll come to the solar panel later, because uh, it comes with a solar panel, where well, you, you buy the solar panel extra, but the solar panel powers this. So it's basically... It's um, it's just constant power. It's always it's always going to be charged up if you've got it outside, sunny, oh, and it, the storage on it's unreal. So this is the main input, DC input that plugs in, that plugs into the main, and that's when you first charge it. Your first charge of that is from the mains. They recommend that you charge it up fully. I did have it charged. This is a week old. And I had that charged at 100% a week ago, and it's now on 78. I turn it off because I don't want to charge it up just now. So that's how you get going. So if you haven't got solar power and you're going on holiday, just plug it into the mains, charge it up before you go. It should last you until you get where you're going. All right. And we've also got this for your journey: 12 volt, 10 amp. Right, you can plug that into DC outlet. Any of these uh, these big items, I'll take these big DC plugs. And the other thing is, you can input that and plug it into the car. Plug it into your car charger. So that's dual purpose. Just feels well made. You know, when you get some of these things and they feel like they're going to fall apart, this just feels really good. I'm amazed by it actually. So you've got two of them plugs there. Two inputs. Uh, two outputs, sorry. That's your input. So when you plug it in, you just switch it on. It tells you what tells you what input's coming in. If you've got the solar panel on, that'll show you if it's bringing any wattage in. The output is for obviously what it's outputting. This is one watt at the moment. I don't know what it's outputting. It's probably just a trickle. Right, so that's your DC plugs. You've got AC here, which is 230. You can plug your oh, you can plug that in. Basically, just a three-pin plug, you know. And you can, I mean, you can power anything off that. Plug that lead in using this AC. That would have made, heard the fan start up there, so it has got a cooling fan. If it starts to get hot, it'll come on the fan. Um, so that's your AC. 230 volts, 500 watts will boil a kettle. And it'll use a hairdryer, straighteners, charge your laptop, charge your phone, it'll charge anything. To be fair, anything you can plug in at your socket at home, you can plug into that AC. And the fan kicks off because it's not it's not overheating at the minute, so that's all right. Right, this is just your display that just lights up there. It tells you. Right, your USB ports. I got three of them. Charging this iPad at the moment. This is an older iPad. Pretty straightforward. Plugs in, iPad comes on. So your output now is four watts charging that. 
and that'll take, oh, I don't know how long it'll take, I've only just started doing it. Um, put it into this one here. Two watts lower, out, lower outage. Four watts. Nine watts. So it increases in power. But that 78% hasn't moved for like a day and a half. I've been charging my phone up on this. So that is the Jackery Explorer 500. Comes with a little neoprene pouch to keep these things in. Your chargers, your cables, and your plugs. I suppose you can throw a few USBs in there, any other ones you've got. Keep it all in there. Nice and compact. So what we're gonna do is, this is just the start, I'm gonna take it out and put the solar panel in and we'll bring it back and we'll show you what sort of input. But the problem I've got is I'm waiting for a sunny day. It's done nothing but rain. And unfortunately, the solar panel isn't waterproof. So you need a sunny day, you need a bright day. It doesn't need to be sunny, it's just as long as it's bright. So yeah, that's the first look at that. Excellent quality. Cooling fans on there. There's a lithium battery in it, which is charging up. I'm sure, you could probably change that. These are like these are removable panels. Just feels nice. I think if you've got a camper van, this would be ideal for all your power. And it's still 78. It hasn't moved all. What I've been videoing there hasn't been, hasn't changed at all. Hmm. Right, so we'll come back when we've got the solar panel out. We are. We're outside testing it now. Got the solar panel up and out, pointing directly at the sun. See, it's got these legs on the back, which help support it. A little pouch on there with the, the lead, the power lead, which plugs into this main unit. As you can see, Pushing out 8 watts, input is 8, output's 8, battery's on 33, I've let that run down. So I'm charging up the telephone, which is charging nicely there, GoPro battery, so that's it, just let that sun get on it. As soon as I get out of the way there, that goes up to 47 watts. 47 watts because I wasn't I was in the way of that. So the direct sun's on it, you don't want to get the shadows on and it puts out a hell of a lot of power. Look at that. Which when I get in the way. And when I stand in front of one of the panels, it goes down to nine. If I come out of the way, it goes back right up. So you've got to keep it in the sun, in the direct sunlight, out of the shadows. It's on 52 watts now, output. Input, sorry. 52 watts. That's producing, the sun's producing 52 watts. Pushing that up to 34% already. Just in that little bit of filming time there. That's not bad, is it? It's excellent, in fact. It's just quite windy in here. Fifty-four watts. If I get in the way, it drops to twelve. I'm getting fully in the way. To eleven. Come on the way, sun direct on it. 53 watts input. <laughs> so it's easy to put away. Switch it off. Wrap it up. It all goes in the little pocket in the back. Just don't fall 
hold it up. This is a little pocket here. The wire. The input there as well. Two outputs. USB, DV, DC. Portable power station. 53 watts, 85 watts on the um, plug in the house. So just to recap on everything, I still got 34% in there. That's that's been I put it fully charged um, to 100 percent via the mains. God, that's about two, three weeks ago now. And I've never never charged it other than when I plugged it into the solar panel on the beach um, and it's still on 34% I've charged it before and a few times what I've got is a few useful items charging the USB the Fitbit's charging up oh, 7% there so that needs doing got the GoPro batteries charging up well one of them and I'm charging the iPhone. See what it's saying there. So ninety-eight percent, but it's charging up. Is it there? The battery icon there. So, with all that in mind, I mean, there's the panel. It is a thing of joy that panel. I think if you're into the car camping. If you've got a camper van or a caravan, or you're on a site, a campsite, and you don't want to hook up to the electric, this is it. This is your endless power. You plug it in if it's got a sunny day. You can use it in bright conditions. It doesn't have to be bright sunshine. Even in the, um, in the dull conditions, cloudy and all that, that'll just trickle charge that. It just trickle charges it. So you've always got it charging up. It should never run out, really. It's only outputting three watts there with them three things on, charging them up. So it's basically endless power. You've got your solar panel in the sunshine. If it's sunny and raining, you can put it in your car windscreen or your van windscreen. And if you plug it into this, then that's just endless cycle of power. Very green, very environmentally friendly, which is becoming more important these days. Um, all in all, I think in the long run it will save you money. Right. On the downside, it's not cheap, okay? I'm not gonna not gonna kid you on, it's not cheap. But what price? Endless power. And you have that for 12 months, probably pay for itself. Yeah. So that's it, that's the review. I'll leave all the links in the description. I think they're offering a discount. There's a discount code available because they've got a um, promotion on at the moment. Um, I think you can get about £50 off both items. Well worth having. Well worth having. If you're, if you're spending a lot of money on your electricals in your camper van or your caravan, you might want to consider this as a, um, a cheaper option of basically endless power.